everybody. This is Alan Fine, and I'm welcoming you to the virtual roadshows for Destination Weddings and Honeymoons. And we are here with Erlston Dill. Uh, he's the manager of travel industry sales for Bermuda Tourism Authority. And so this is the perfect place. If you're selling honeymoons and destination weddings, this is where you need to be. Erlston, tell us. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. And uh, welcome, everybody, for... Uh, well, thank you for coming on to this um, session today, and hopefully you'll learn a little bit about Bermuda and right. what we do have to offer for your wedding and honeymoon clients. Okay. Erlston, listen, people think about the Caribbean and Bermuda, and uh, yeah, I know, yeah, I know, yeah, but they don't know. Where is Bermuda? Uh, actually, we are a 21-square-mile island in the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean all by ourselves. We're just about 700 miles east of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, which most people don't realize. That's how no. close we are to the East Coast. Uh -uh. Uh, we're roughly about 18 miles from end to end. Our widest point in land is about a quarter, uh, a mile and a quarter at its uh, widest, and that's at the center of the island. Very small population. It's only 65,000 people. Uh, we could pretty much fit in any of your football stadiums and still have seats left over. <laughs> we have to be the oldest British colony in existence. So I'm now still trying to get used to saying the king instead of the queen since she did pass. And uh, I think that's the case for most of us on island. I was just going to say, so we didn't even think about how that trickles down to you. It, it okay, does. It trickles with, down to us. But, but so you're it, so close to uh, the Carolinas. So what's the flight times? Flight times you're looking at uh, anywhere from two to three hours from us of our East Coast gateway cities because of our proximity that's where most of them are out of new york believe it or not is only 90 minutes from wheels up to wheels down so you know bermuda has always been known for its pink sand beaches uh wreck diving golf family and luxury travel and definitely weddings and honeymoons so i so basically let's get married now 90 minutes we'll be there let's do it exactly <laughs> okay so so how does bermuda cater to this market Okay, so whether um, they choose to tie the knot at a resort uh, on the beach or at a golf club um, or choose to experience their first days as newlyweds with us, the island provides a perfect paradise escape. We have several properties that are great for weddings and honeymoons. Uh, we have the St. Regis, which is in the east end of the island, brand new. Uh, come May of this year, it'll actually only be two years old. So that's obviously one of our Marriott properties. Uh, you have the Hamilton Princess and Beach Club, uh, definitely uh, known for um, the weddings that they perform on the grounds and at their private beach. You have the reefs, and of course we have Grotto Bay Beach Resort. And that's just to name a few of what we have. So they all have pretty much perfect indoor spaces and grounds ideal for the perfect ceremony. Now, some of the properties that we have on island actually have private honeymoon suites with pools uh, and they have locations around the properties that actually can create a special romantic evening or occasion. Other than that, you know, we have a caterers on island, so they provide the necessary um, arrangements, menus, and offerings to choose from, you know, including pretty much the full bar that you need. Uh, great florists on the island that, that um, have amazing selection of flowers and accessories, perfect for the weddings. And uh, we have qualified wedding planners so they can uh, pretty much bring your client's uh, dream wedding to life. And lastly, I want to mention that we do have quite a bit of off-site venues. So you can get married on a cliffside, in a cave, uh, quite a bit of historic landmarks that allowed us as well, and even forts. So they all provide a beautiful picturesque background for ceremonies and for receptions. Yeah, so whatever the, uh, the wedding party wants, you can match tone. Definitely. So um, what resources do you have to help travel advisors sell more honeymoons and destination weddings in, in Bermuda? Well, you can start with um, our website at gotobermuda.com. Uh, if you click on the plan your trip at the top of the landing page, and then you can click on weddings and honeymoons. So everything you need to know is there. We also have an asset bank, and that's at assets.gotobermuda.com. So what uh, advisors can do is actually go on this site, register, and they can download photos and videos, especially of the wedding and honeymoon um, theme. And if they're planning on uh, promoting Bermuda to their clients as a wedding destination, 
then this allows them to pull photos that are of Bermuda. We have plenty of DMCs on island and wedding planners, so they're definitely ready to um, assist. Our staff here at the Bermuda Tourism Authority, uh, they can call us and we can help them walk through the needs and what's required. Uh, our hotels actually also offer a group offer and it's on 12 rooms or more with a minimum of three nights. So this can actually help those uh, destination weddings pretty much bring down the pricing because they can negotiate the room pricing and what they can get with that. One thing that most of uh, the advisors don't realize is that there's no residency requirement. So like if they were going to the Caribbean, I think it's a 48 hour residency requirement, but in Bermuda, as long as they uh, fill out the notice of intended marriage form, they can literally fly in and fly out. And those forms you can actually download off our website or off our government website, which is uh, gov.bm. All right, so, so Earlston, for those who are concerned uh, about COVID and the pandemic, um, what's changed and what stayed the same in Bermuda? Okay, well, during the pandemic, uh, I know they limited how many wedding guests can come on the island to uh, you know, be part of it. So they had dropped it down to about 50 guests. Then as some of the protocols changed, they moved it up to 100 and then 150. But I know as of last year, November 22nd, is when all of that has been lifted. Uh, again, before everybody had to be vaccinated in order to come to the island. But now uh, that's no longer a requirement for you to guess. They don't need to be fully vaccinated. Even though those who aren't vaccinated may have to go through one or two little steps, which um, is really nothing major um, at this time. My advice to advisors is definitely to know the process of getting married in Bermuda. Uh, it's easy to do, and I think this will give their clients uh, a sense of comfort knowing that they do know how to have, um, go through the process. So we did mention the notice of intended marriage form, so I'll give you a couple of steps that you need to follow. So the first step that you'll need to do is to actually get a marriage license. So to do this, they need to submit that same form, the notice of intended marriage form, um, the age in Bermuda, believe it or not, is actually 16. So it's legal at 16 to get married. However, you have to be uh, or get written permission from your parents for anybody who's 18 years and under. So that's the only stipulation with that. You have to show that you're free to marry. So be sure that you're single, divorced, or widowed and do not have a close be closely related to the intended spouse. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So that's actually a stipulation. There. <laughs> so once the notice of intended marriage has been submitted, uh, along with the fees, uh, I believe the marriage license is 353 and the marriage certificate is $40. Then the registry general publishes that notice in the official gazette. So after 15 days waiting period, then the marriage license will be issued and it's valid for three months. So before the wedding, then they would take that license and give it to the official uh, marriage officer. So the, uh, this is the person that actually would be performing the uh, ceremony for them. So that's either your uh, minister, your priest, your rabbi, they would need to get that form in order to um, carry out the uh, ceremony. So when the ceremony uh, can actually be religious, then it'll be performed by one of them. It can also be a civil ceremony, which can be done by the registrar general themselves. So once the ceremony has taken place, then that marriage uh, officer will complete what is known as the particulars of marriage form. And then this will be submitted to the registrar general who would then issue the marriage certificate. So that would show that it's a legal binding marriage and that your clients will not have to worry about coming back to wherever they've flown in from and have to do it all over again. So at so, this point, you are really married. I mean, not just that you're you, really married and you better not be getting a divorce. That's what I say. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Perfect. Now, for your honeymooners, if you came into them, then obviously um, all that's already been done before they come down to the island. So I would just suggest reaching out to the properties or the hotel sales reps and uh, make them aware of their special guest that's in the property. So this should prompt a welcome amenity in the name of the advisor themselves, or they may even get. Um, an upgrade in the room category if it's available. Well, that's the kind of nuts and bolts we wanna give out to our watchers right now. So thank you for that. Um, so to sort of wrap up, uh, why book a honeymoon or a destination wedding in Bermuda? 
Okay, well, for honeymoons, Bermuda has always been known as a honeymoon destination. Um, if your clients are coming from the East Coast, as I mentioned earlier, it's a short flight time. So um, the newlyweds can actually be in Bermuda by noon and be on the beach by one, already start their, their, their honeymoon. We have great properties on island that actually cater to honeymooners as well. So you got places like uh, the Pink Beach, or I should say the Lauren at Pink Beach. They have villas. We have Cambridge beaches, which have their um, suites right down the bottom there at Honeymoon Point. We also have uh, Cambridge beaches that actually have honeymoon pool suites. So there's about three of them and they go really fast. Uh, we also have Azor and a few others that also will cater to that. Um, we have great dining experiences and that's major in Bermuda. So um, there's plenty of dining options that can create the romantic culinary experience that you know, most honeymooners are looking for. Uh, we can also create um, custom itineraries. So they can plan out romantic ex uh, excursions. Uh, they can do this through either a DMC, uh, an event planner, or even a hotel front desk. And of course, um, what we like to brag is that your, your clients can actually top off their honeymoon with, by experiencing a one-of-a-kind couple spa treatment in the only natural cave spa in the entire world. And that's located at Natura Spa at uh, Grotto Bay Beach Resort. So I... I... I think at this point, we should remind our travel advisors uh, how they can get more information, how they can get involved. Let's give the URL again. Uh, it is uh, www.go to Bermuda. That's literally spelled out, not go to Bermuda.com <laughs> or our government website, which is gov.bm. Well, that's great. Thank you, Earlston. So I just want to remind everyone watching that uh, Earlston and his folks are at a booth. Go visit their booth at the conference and you'll be able to pick up more information there and be able to talk to someone right away. So Earlston, thank you for talking with us. Thank you. And thank you for listening, everyone. And this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report and Virtual Roadshows, Destination Weddings and Honeymoons. Mm -hmm.